Let's talk about why you might be sparring too hard or maybe too softly. Hello there, Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And in this video, I want to talk about sparring habits. And first and foremost, how you can improve your fencing during sparring. So the first and most important distinguishment that I want to make in this video is that sparring is not fighting. Sparring is a training tool and it should be uh, dealt with as such. So what do I mean by that? Well, in fighting or in competition, you of course go all out. You give your 100%, your 110%, you give it your best, uh, you hold nothing back but of course um, especially depending on the rule set but also depending on you not being an asshole uh, you don't risk the you don't risk injuring your opponent or your fencing partner in sparring this should be even a higher priority what do I mean by that well for example if you spar at 100% all of the time then just due to uh, having a higher risk of accidents, you will get hurt a lot. You will get bruised a lot, but more importantly, you will miss training because of your injuries. You will need time to recover. And especially if you are on a training schedule that is more than like two times per week, you might not have that time for recovery. So especially if you have like a lot of training within uh, a few days or a lot of training still ahead of you, you should sp pay special attention to your health and to the health of your sparring partners. So avoid getting injured, avoid uh, losing training time that way because training time is one of the most important factors to actually develop skill. Next. If you spar really hard, there's really not a lot of incentive to try new things. That is, if you try new things, you probably suck at it. And, well, if you suck at something, then you will get hit. Then you'll get hit at 100%, then you get hurt. Okay, so there's very little incentive to try new things, to, to be a bit silly, to develop really new skills and a broader, like, fencing skill for, uh, for yourself. Instead, you'll do more of the same thing if you spar at a too high intensity and you'll certainly develop uh, a few like core techniques that are essential to you. But if those don't work in a competition, well, then you almost have like no plan B to fall back to. So what I do it, uh, propose instead, well, spar at a at a lighter intensity where the hits really don't hurt at all right that doesn't mean slow sparring that doesn't mean goes uh, sparring without any protective gear while those still also have value i am from a proponent of sparring in full gear full protective equipment but at a lighter intensity to really have that in, uh, incentive to try new things to like not get punished that hard if your opponent actually does hit you so you're not really counting hits or anything but you're training right sparring is a training tool and you should see it as just that it is not important how many times you get hit but it is important to develop new skills to uh, get better at the activity that you do and especially if you're in that like playful mode then skills actually develop way faster what do i mean by that well especially if you and your training partner are paying attention that both of you get some like meaningful training time during sparring then you actually like have more chances to to employ a technique that you're not quite perfect at right and that will be rewarding in itself of course so it's it motivates you it will be fun but of course if the opponent then ups the intensity just a bit they get better in their defense against that technique then you'll need to work around that and that even uh, that develops your skill even more okay so very short point actually don't spar too hard also don't spar too lightly 
because well if you don't go 100% at least sometimes if you never put on gear well then you will develop habits that are actually bad for you if you ever enter a competition or such a training environment where they are uh, training at a higher intensity. What do I mean by that? Well, you might feel just too safe at certain areas because your opponent doesn't hit you there, because you don't wear safety gear, or because your opponent uh, can actually reach you from a much higher distance where they previously could not because they went uh, really slow. So you might feel too safe at some positions. You might think that you have lots of reaction time when you actually don't. So do spar harder sometimes especially like if you have like um, a few days to recover afterwards but especially if you do a lot of training within the week the majority of your training should be i think still in full gear but at a lower intensity so you really can make the most out of it okay that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed take care and bye bye